Hello Frakamas, so today I'm coming with a review on an amazing fragrance that I discovered a few months back. Before I go into the review though, my standard of the day is going to be Chiara by Desire Stunning House. That was introduced to me by Nikhil, who also learned it from Anna. And then Yana from Tomilis actually did an overview on one of their fragrances. And I must say I'm really impressed by the house. Today I'm enjoying um, Chiara. I've tried others from the house and I'm going to be reviewing them. Just a stunning uh, wood fragrance here. Another, now moving on to the fragrance review, another amazing Oud fragrance from the house of East Yusak. We're going to be looking at Oud Anka. Stunning bottle uh, design and then the box comes in this box here. And you open it and the fragrance sits in this tube here. And then at the back you have more information. This fragrance is an amazing, one of the best Oud fragrances that I've tried to date. I'm not an Oud expert, but the ones that I've tried so far and then what I'm getting out of this one, just amazing. What I get out of this fragrance, there are three types of Oud. So you get Cambodian Oud, Oud from uh, Laos, and then in the Oud. There are other supporting elements, but they never overshadow the scent profile of the Oud. They boost it, highlight it, uh, make it more pronounced. Now. One thing that I love about this fragrance is the fact that it comes off as one giant oud note that is highlighting in turn each of the geospecific scent profiles of the oud, the three different ouds that I've mentioned. So it never comes across like you smelling a segmented fragrance with the oud from Cambodia, Laos, and then the Indi oud. It just comes off refined, well-balanced, and as one big note. Now, if you've been to a choir performance, and um, you've witnessed how they sing in unison and then you get highlights of notes from one end of the bench all the way to the other end of the bench without ever breaking uh, the note or the sound throughout and it sounds like one big, a big like vocal wave throughout that is smooth. That is what I'm getting out of Oud Anka. Each geo-specific scent of the ouds that I've mentioned gets highlighted and turned without feeling like there is a breakage there or feeling like a siloed. That's how well blended this one is. Now, with the three ouds that I've mentioned, obviously you're going to get spicy, sweet, of course, balsamic. You're also going to get a leathery, animalic touch that is coming from the indie oud, but it doesn't go too barnyard. It's actually elegant and easy to wear. And then that's what I love about this fragrance is uh, the amount of restraint and polishment that the, the um, perfumer put in here without taking away the soul or the main scent profile of the three ouds. That's what I love about this one. The other notes that are highlighted here, and then like I said, they never overtake the oud scent profile, which uh, is really enjoyable here and, and I appreciate here. They're lifting or highlighting the oud notes. The supporting notes that I get here, there is this be beautiful frankincense note um, that is just adding that like incense uh, mysterious veil over the oud fragrance and then actually enhancing that little animalic note that is coming from the indie oud. And then there's also a labdanum driven amber that adds weight to the fragrance as well and highlights also the leathery facet to it. Now, at some point, I did notice that I was getting a little bit, a slight little bit um, of, of a cinnamon note. But after talking to um, the, uh, one of the representatives at his USAC, one of the things that I mentioned is that the frankincense was actually um, uh, co distilled with some saffron and then some ambergris, and I do get those nuances here, and that's where maybe I'm picking something that is reminiscent of uh, cinnamon, but it's not a like a bold or too sweet of a cinnamon. It's like that slightly spicy, woody uh, facet of uh, cinnamon bar, per se. So you have this beautiful labdanum that is supporting, along with this frankincense that is adding this uh, incense soft, mysterious veil to the overall fragrance. So overall, to recap what I'm getting out of this fragrance, sweet, spicy, balsamic, leathery, musky, animalic, without falling out of the elegance bandwagon.
that's how smooth and refined this fragrance is so it goes without saying that it's easy to wear now i wouldn't recommend this one to a beginner or somebody is just getting to ooze or don't like animalic fragrance obviously this one is um, art in the bottle the oods are highlighted here like I said um, the, the soul of those oods are not lost so you're gonna get true wood here so you don't like oud or you don't like challenging or um, artsy take on fragrances this one is not gonna work for you now for people that are hardcore into oods or you love your oods this one you're not gonna be disappointed it's smooth think of taking artisanal oud giving it to somebody that is really talented, perfumer that is really talented, he smooths it out without taking away the soul of the oud um, that is put in here. It's just magnificent. That's how much I love this fragrance. Now, price point. If you're into ouds, you know that they're expensive. If you've bought oud or tars before, you know that they're expensive. This one, 50 ml, retails for 620 euros. And I did order that from their website, excellent customer service they uh, also got samples from the house and then equally stunning um, fragrances that I'm gonna be highlighting later so customer service is really good for the price point and what I get out of this one amazing fragrance I cannot tell you how much I love this one so in conclusion this fragrance does a really good job at highlighting the three scent profiles from the oud that I mentioned so Cambodian oud oud from Laos and then the Indie oud here and it's elegant refined although animalic it is not barnyard and then you get these uh, spicy sweet element leathery animalic musky tones along with the love denim and then the frankincense note that just adds this layer of mysterious feel to the fragrance that's what i get out of fragrance performance is amazing lasts a long time so usually i only go with one spray on this one and i'm set for the day now if you've tried anything from the house of east usac if you've tried oud Anka, let me know what you think of it i'm going to be reviewing others from the house i'm kind of hesitant i did get um theros which is another amazing fragrance that contains um, Chiara. And I also got the Elixir um, that is similar, but has higher dosages of the Chiara there along with other um, scent profiles or other types of oud. I'm hesitant to review those because they were limited edition and then um, I don't know if they're available, so I'm not sure if it's gonna do any good um, to actually review them. But if you're interested in hearing what Theros smells like, let me know and I will do a review. I'll be reviewing Selects, which is another amazing one, and then the others that I've received from the house. Now, one thing before I go, one thing worth mentioning, I'm not sure that uh, Udonka is offered all year round. I think um, they make them available uh, whenever they get their ingredients that they're um, the need for this fragrance so you, I can tell from that that they meticulously selecting the oods that are put in here along with the talent of the perfume in there stunning fragrance so check the uh, website and see if it's available I'm not sure if you can sample it in one of the boutiques if they have it there but if you can definitely give it a try again thank you for watching please come on rate and subscribe and take care bye